Alright, so we're on to step five, which is removing the drive axles on both sides of the transmission. This is the passenger side. This is the longer axle going to the wheel. And so all we need to do is uh, remove these nuts. Um, when, as, when you're moving them, you want to have your uh, parking brake on so you can, that you can actually apply some torque. And then um, to get to the other set of two, and the other set, uh, undo your parking brake, rotate it, and put the parking brake back on. Um, these are just 12 millimeter nuts, um, so we're going to go ahead and remove those, and then uh, pull the um, drive shafts off, and then we'll move on to the clutch line and the gear selector cables. But let's do this first. So we have the nuts off. Again, we had to pull the parking brake, um, undo the nuts, un undo the parking brake, turn this by hand uh, so they get at the ne next set of nuts, redo the parking brake, and then continue on until you get all six. And then once you've got all of them, you can just pull off the drive shaft and let it hang. And that's all it is. Now it's disconnected from the transmission. Let's go to the driver's side, do that one. Uh, which is the shorter of the axles and then we're ready to move on. So we've on, undone all the bolts on for the driver side uh, shaft and now we can pull this one off. This one's a little bit trickier just because everything's a bit shorter. Alright so as you can see we've now dropped the driver side axle which is much shorter. It's a little bit trickier because just because because it's shorter a um, little bit less play and you know area to move around in, so a little bit a little bit harder to drop, but not too bad. So you can see both axles are just hanging right now. Um, we may want to remove the wheels and actually pull the drive shafts out, um, just to make it a little bit easier to get the dolly underneath when we want to drop the engine. Um, that might be a little bit of an extra. You don't have to do it, but it just makes your life easier. Um, so if I go ahead and do that, I'll do it as step seven or whatever as an extra and show you. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave them and see if we can do it without removing the axles completely. All right, let's now move on to the clutch line and speedo uh, gear selector. And then we're ready for the final step, which is uh, undo the engine mounts and drop the engine. So for removing the uh, gear selector shafts, so there's going to be two steps. Um, the first step is to remove these um, uh, bracket holders um, which hold the actual cables to this bracket which is mounted to the transmission. Um, so these are just hammer in um, sort of like U-clips and you can sort of see the one back there. We're just going to have to hammer those out or try and pry those out so that these cables are free and we can disconnect them from this uh, bracket. And then the next step is actually the ends of the um, selectors, and you can sort of see it there. Um, there's a brass bushing and a clevis pin, and we need to remove that clevis pin, and we can remove the ends of the um, cables. So then again, there's two, and we can just slide it off the uh, selector shaft arm. And then that's all we need to do, and those cables are disconnected um, from the engine. So let's go ahead and do that and then move on to the clutch line. So we removed, these are the U-clips, um, these are the uh, cotter pins, and then just some washers from the gear selector shafts. And now they are free to move here. And so they're not connected to the transmission anymore. Uh, both at both the end, as well as the um, bracket here. Um, so those are free. Last step here is the clutch line. Uh, it's very similar. Um, it has a U-clip holding it to the transmission and then it's screwed on and we're gonna have to undo that and um, just be careful there's gonna be clutch fluid coming out which is essentially brake fluid and that's very corrosive and very harmful so try and catch that in a container and then uh, and then plug that line up so it doesn't spill everywhere. Alright, let's go ahead and do that now.
So the last step here in step five is to take out the clutch line. I have a braided steel clutch line. You can see it going from the body to the engine. And the U-clip is partially removed. You can see it popping out there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that line and then remove that clip and just have that stainless steel braided line hanging uh, removed from the transmission. And then we are ready to go ahead and start unbolting the engine mounts. So we can see one engine mount there, that's the front, there's one in the back, and then one on the left and right. And then that's going to drop the engine. So let's go ahead and remove this clutch line. Alright, the clutch line is removed. Uh, not too much brake fluid came out of that. So um, just have a little bit of a towel ready. And now you can see we're, we've disconnected that hard line um, from the transmission. And so now we're ready to take off the engine mounts and uh, lower the engine onto a dolly and then remove it from the engine bay. Let's go ahead and do that now.